All right. So I got up quite a bit done. I made them a little less full than I had originally started in that last section. Here, let me move this one second. Let's see. Let's see. There we go. So it's a little less dense than I had originally started, which I kind of like it that way. So where you can see the white there, once that bakes, it won't look like that. All right, so we're into the home stretch. This won't take very long. We're just going to finish up the tippy top here. Actually, I probably don't need this for that. And then that'll be it will kind of give it the final bake uh, even that after I bake it a final time if I look and I see like I can see right now that I still have a little bit of like shine I can see the shiny wire showing through so there's a couple of different ways that I can handle that I could either right now before I bake it uh, put a little bit of the liquid sculpey on <clears throat> and smear a little um, of the browns of the trunk and branch color. So I could do that or um, I can go a different route, which is what I'm really kind of thinking I might want to do and just do a paint wash over it once it's done. And I could do that very easily. It's almost like antiquing um, but I would probably do maybe not white, but something like that. Because if you look at a lot of the Japanese trees, they very much have that, you know, they look like a birch. Uh, a lot of the trunks and the branches. So they have almost kind of a whitewash to them. So I, that's what I'm thinking about doing to kind of fix that. So again, you know, as I've mentioned several times, another reason why I love working with polymer clay, because it is very forgiving. And if you kind of go into your project thinking, okay, this is what I'm going to do. And I'll do A, B, C, and D. And maybe some people can do that. It doesn't always work that work out that way for me. All these little fiddly bits. Good, good, good. Oops, that's a little heavy. Like I said, these branches I really wanted to make, uh, I don't know, a little more delicate is the theme with this one. Pieces smaller. There we go. And again, I'm kind of going for those little bit brighter colors for the tippy top, the brighter greens, and the yellows, because that's what you're going to see when you look outside. The tree tips are lighter colored. So far, I'm pretty pleased with how this is coming out, and I think it's going to look good with the rest of the trees in the series. Let's see. Kind of tip it up so you can see how it's coming along. Can you see? There we go. So you still can, like I said, you can see those really big white glops, which won't completely disappear when I bake it, but they will turn clear and a little bit harder to see. Come on. Yeah, look 
gonna wipe off my ends there. They're getting a little sticky. Now, probably my absolute worst habit is I could just kind of keep going and going and going and fiddling. I have to kind of get to a point where I look at it and I call it done. Or, or I'll just keep fiddling and playing. And that's usually when you muck it all up. So I'm going to use this, this gives a really good gentle touch, but make sure everything is secure, not falling off, because if I used my finger right now, obviously it would just kind of smush it. This branch is still a little heavier than I wanted. Closer to me. There you go. Kind of see that. I'll put my, my cleanup rag. All right. I am just about ready to call this. I might make some of these just a hair thicker. Uh, yeah, I think. Think so. Oh, you starting to be sorry you asked me to do this? <laughs> you might be getting more than you bargained for. I want to kind of get where these two branches, some of the leaves kind of come together on that a little bit more. Almost done. Again, I suppose I should call out Leslie at Vision Works <laughs> again. Everybody wonders how I can do the small work. It's because I went and got new glasses from Leslie at Vision Works in Bampton. All right, got a little bit I've got to put on the back, but that's that. I'm going to go bake it and we'll be finished. All right, we're done. It's baked. It's still a little hot, so I'm trying to be a little careful. So it came out really how I wanted it to. Let me get my, oh, 
alles hat. You can probably see better on the white background. Okay. So yeah, there it is. It's done. You can see the, the little twist in the tree. Same with on the roots. I have one little spot where I cracked right there. I tried to pull up the branch a little bit, but again, that's easy. I can fill that. And there was one spot back here where I could see the wire. But other than that, I'm going to call that done. I'm going to call that done. So if you managed to get all the way through this entire video, thanks. And, um, you know, I'll fiddle around with these again try to fix the, to get a little more familiar with the editing and maybe I can really narrow them right down to a shorter video. But anyways, thanks again for your interest. Until next time. So this is the finished product. What I started working on yesterday. Went through, I baked everything. I fixed, I had a little crack right there. So I fixed that, filled in the rest of the leaves. And that's really how it turns out. So throughout the day, I'll be posting kind of the progress videos of how I got to this point. Feel free to watch them. And I hope you enjoy it. And um, like I said in one of the videos, I really do appreciate some of the feedback so I can make this a smoother process. All right, cool. Thanks.